In question two, we're being asked to simplify, and here it is mostly to do with like terms. So, remember like terms are things that have the same base and same powers. For example, x squared and x are not like terms, but x squared and x squared would be like terms because they have the same base, x, and the same powers, too. Same, we could have 3x squared and 5x squared, and these would be like terms because we have x squared and x squared, just a 3 and a 5 in front, but it's the base and the powers that are the same. And just as another example, a squared and x squared would not be like terms because they're not the same base, even though they have the same power. So taking a look at the problem we've been given, we need to identify the like terms, and it can be helpful sometimes to um, color them or indicate them to be the same. So I'm noticing I've got a 3m and a plus m. Those are both m without a power, so they're going to be like terms. And the other ones that I've noticed, I'll circle, is I've got a 6b, but that's actually minus 6b, and I have a 5b, and that's a plus 5b. And I'm circling the sign in front of it as an important thing, so I want to remember that it's not 6b, it's actually minus 6b. So once we've identified the like terms, we can basically keep the base and the power the same, but add the numbers, or the coefficients, in front. So I've got a 3m and a single m, and remember there'll be a little invisible 1 there, so that's 3m and 1m. So how many m's total is that? Well, 3 plus 1 would be 4, and I keep it as m. It does not become m squared, I leave the base the same, just m. And now looking at the b terms, I've got minus 6b and plus 5b, so I know I'll have a b there, I'll leave it, not turn it to b squared, but minus 6 plus 5 becomes minus 1. Now you can write it as minus 1b, or you can write the expression like this. Either way will be correct. Both will work for you. So remember, when we're adding like terms, you keep the base and the power the same. You just combine by adding or subtracting the numbers that they have in front. Looking at another example, this one actually uses our expanding rules from the previous problem, as well as the like terms. So we'll notice the first thing we see here is we've got brackets, so we need to get rid of the brackets by expanding. So that'll be our first step. So we'll do this side first. 2 times m gives me 2m, and 2 times plus 6 gives me plus 12. And for the next problem, I see I've got an 8, but it's a minus 8. Watch out for that minus sign in front of it, so I need to take that through. So it's minus 8 times m, which gives me minus 8m, and minus 8 times minus 5, which gives me plus 40, because minus and a minus gives me a positive. Now that I've got it expanded, I'll look for like terms. I see that I've got m's, and I'll go ahead and circle those, and I'm circling the negative in front of the 8, and I also have a plus 12 and a plus 40. So 2m minus 8m, I'm going to have an m, and the 2 minus the 8 gives me minus 6m, and 12 plus 40 gives me plus 52. And that works for the problem, so expanding it out first, and then um, combining the like terms. Always being careful to watch for those negatives and carry them through with you.